So where are we? We've seen, um, you know, look, I've seen people that weren't even in the Capitol sentenced to prison. I've seen people that were there taking videos on their phones, uh, given stiff penalties yep. and sentences. And then I see Ray Epps, you know, he gets a, a misdemeanor. Uh, I mean, it's just, come on. This is a yeah, rigged deal. Uh, yeah, They're trying to is. teach people a lesson. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's, it's Steve, it's it's worse than you even can see. I mean, you have so many things. We have so many crises to focus on in this country. The border's wide open, all the things. But sure. it's worse than you think. It's worse than you think. I mean, uh, we have a situation where about a thousand, a little bit more than a thousand people have been arrested already. The, the, the federal prosecutor in charge says he's going to arrest another thousand. They're doing it week by week as a roll up to the 2024 election. And it's premised on the fact that that the, the, the corrupt government led by Pelosi and the select committee and the DOJ and the, and the media have said January 6th was like a terrorist act like 9-11. And they've acted like that under the law. So they're holding people in, in jail because they're saying you're terrorists. Not, not, you're not rioters. But we know you're it's not, not true. That, well, we know we, it's not, we, it doesn't matter. We know that's not true. And the truth right. doesn't matter. And that's what <clears throat> excuse me, bothers me here. Because when you hear Stephen's son, for example... The former chief yeah. of police for the Capitol Police right. say, look, this is on Nancy Pelosi. This is not on Donald Trump. This is not on the people right. that were there that day. This is on Nancy Pelosi because she refused to secure the Capitol. It was intentional. They baited yeah. these people intentionally. And now the FBI and the feds can't even tell us how many people were in the crowd that day working as assets. They're doing an audit. They can't even figure out how many of their own people were there in the crowd egging other people on to create this whole illusion, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Look, and, and, and this is a, there's a tradition of this. You know, the Bolshevik Revolution, the first two years afterwards, they spent their time defining what happened. It was a coup back then. It was a coup. And they said, oh, no, it was a revolution. It was the people rising. It was a coup by a small number of people. They've spent the, the, the pe people in power have spent years saying this was something it's not. But, you know, from my standpoint, I represent some of the guys in jail. Our Patriot Freedom Project is fighting to help the rest of the families. It's devastating, individually targeted uh, against American citizens. You know, our crown jewel, Steve, is the Constitution and the rule of law and our founding values. This is being gutted wholesale in these courts in Washington, D.C. And look, I, I will say this. There's two groups, three groups, really, that I would say are nowhere to be found. The lawyers, the bar should be objecting to this. It's a misuse of our power, you know, as a lawyer. The press should be all over this and say, I want to be a hero and expose who the pipe bomber is because the FBI hasn't found the pipe bomber. And the third group, to be very frank, Congress and the Republicans, too. This is a five-alarm fire, guys. This is a, this well, is, they're using is, the 